respected students welcome back everyone so today's video is the second video of real time scenario okay so you all know that we have started the playlist like uh, while working in the company in real time projects what times what types of scenario comes or what is the ask of client okay so here is the ear filter and here is one visual okay so so what we have to, uh, we have to show is that let's say uh, predict analysis is shown on plus 30 years okay so what will be the price after 30 years so client wants the dynamic title also here let's say if 2017 is selected here so client is telling that after 30 years we are able to see the value here now so the title should be updated as 2047 or for 16 it should be 2046 and that is only written in this um, this youtube community section post also you can see here like in slicer if year is selected 2025 then dynamically it should update at 2055 okay if 2030 then 2060 like this so how to tackle this scenario so now we can uh, tackle this scenario with the help of one dax okay now we will write the dax here uh, let's write like a forecast title Mm, then uh, let's create variable start here like year is equal to max of whatever date is there okay so let me highlight one thing here that uh, you can pass today also here okay today is more dynamically but in our data if you will see here uh, 2017 is the last okay so we can't use the today function see 2017 is the last so we can't use the today function here but mostly use today only rather than uh, max then variable end year then let's use start year we want plus 30 years now so plus 30 okay then return it and then let's give uh, title as uh, it is i guess yeah order quantity order quantity then bracket open double inverted comma and and let's do then format okay format is like uh, end year we want now yeah plus 30 and then uh, we will use all four like 2047 not only 47 2047 we will use here and double inverted comma bracket close and double inverted comma bracket close yeah so this measure now we have to click on this visual go to visualization pane go to general go to title okay of this visual and just pass this fx in field value forecast title see you are able to see 2047 now if clicked here then 2046 if clicked on 15 then 2045 like this dynamically it will be updated it is mostly used in the predictive analysis okay so thanks for watching till end and if you like the video make sure you are liking and pressing uh, sharing with the friends and subscribe and press bell icon for all upcoming videos and watch our other first real-time scenario videos thank you everyone